Dear Dr. Shikande, I met you on my first day of Oglethorpe in Intro to Journalism. I was nervous about starting a new school, and you made me feel completely at ease. You smiled at me when I walked in, as you did with every student. However, for me, it gave me the signal that I belonged in that class at Oglethorpe. From that moment on, I was attached to you as a student. You were fair and understanding, but also expected only my best. I learned so much from you in that class that I had to take you for another. This time, it was nonprofit communication. You once again pushed me to think outside my comfort zone, showing me what it truly meant to communicate through my words and the possible effects it could have on someone. Imagine my happiness in knowing that you were not only my professor, but also my advisor. I believe our relationship was more than just discussing my classes or what made sense for my major. I was able to come to you during your office hours to vent about frustrations I was dealing with, boys I had fallen for, or internships I was excited to start. Not only would you entertain me in all my problems, but you would laugh at all my jokes, roll your eyes, and say a jokingly exasperated, oh, Farron, and offer me candy. I like to think you were my biggest fan at Oglethorpe, and I was well, still am yours. You were an amazing advisor, but for me, an ally as well. You were someone I could count on at school. I bragged about you anytime I gave tours or people asked me who was a must take at Oglethorpe. I told them of how you were someone who understood students and wanted to help challenge them into being all they could be. I'm so grateful for our time together. Thanks to you, I'm not scared of the unknown world because I know that I will always have you in my corner, giving me career advice, laughing at my jokes, and offering me candy. I am so grateful that you were and always be part of Oglethorpe for me. I know that I can always email you and have a response for you waiting in my inbox, offering me wisdom and insight. Thank you for truly showing me what it means to be a mentor. I am truly grateful. Yes, yeah, so I did Ferrin. I was, uh, it was a surprise, but it brought back a lot of memories of Ferrin coming into my office and telling me about classes she's taking and things going on in her life. And it was always a joy to have her there. She was also my advisee. So we met uh, regularly every semester. So she always stopped by and I look forward to seeing her and encouraging her in what she wanted to do. I know she was passionate about nonprofits. And I'm really excited for her that she found an internship and hopefully that will uh, take her on to a, a job in the nonprofit sector. So uh, what do you think of the letter? <laughs> oh, it touched me deeply. Thank you so much for, for taking the time to write it and for all the wonderful things you said. Honestly, like I'm, I'm not kidding. Like every time on tour when we like talk about classes, I'd be always like, you have to take Dr. Chikande if you're a communication major or minor. I don't care. Just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> So how are you doing now? How is the internship? I was doing an internship with Carmen Atlanta. It's been interesting to see kind of like why communication is so important with it. And so you find your communication classes helpful? I, I really do. I really feel like it's really like nice to be able to be like able to communicate with people. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we uh -huh. haven't been able to do our big event. Right. But I'm in charge of their Facebook. Oh, okay. It's really like nice to be able to be like able to communicate with people and kind of be like yeah, just because this is going on doesn't mean like stay connected to the audience and the people who are interested and so on. Yeah. And I'm so glad you, you took classes and also after I moved to the library, my office was kind of off the beaten path a little bit, but you were one of the students who always stopped by. <laughs> I always could find you, don't worry. <laughs> Ferrin used to come by my office and say, but well, we are friends and I should say, Ferrin, only after you graduate. Till then. And I'd be like, I'd be like that's my best friend, Dr. Shikande. And she'd be like, you can't say that in public. You cannot. <laughs> You know I'm your biggest fan. I love you so much. Like, you've really, like, made such an impact on my life.